when I think about my second day here, July 2nd, and it was in a meeting talking about how can we make a difference to eight customers and the analytics behind, can we come up with a solution for this summer to reduce the likelihood that that customer experiences a PSPS, it just blew me away. SDG&E is not just providing electricity, they're also community members of people that work there, live in San Diego County, and they also care about the community as well, and they care that you're safe. One thing I take seriously is my role here in the company. We are the first line of defense in most cases, and we're standing watch. A big part of the expansion in 2020 has been driven by everything that we learned in 2019. One of the areas that we're gonna get better at for 2020 is installing microgrids. We can improve the experience of a community by making sure that we can isolate that community from our grid and provide it with its own local generation. And so for this year, four communities will have microgrids such that at the worst moment, if we have got to cut off power to that community, they will stay energized while we're dealing with the potential for ignition risk around them. I dealt very closely with the air crane since its inception. There's probably no better rotor wing, you know, helicopter uh, than the S64 air crane. So having it now respond into South Orange County is a game changer for us. There's not many utilities that own or, or lease one helicopter to help manage a risk. This company uh, has four assets always available. And the remarkable thing is those assets are available to the community. Having the air crane here year round has really increased our capabilities and it corresponds to this year round fire season that we have. Having that thing here in San Diego 365 days a year is a great insurance policy and certainly gives me a lot of comfort. A few of the other areas SDG&E is working on to improve the experiences for customers to avoid ignitions are some of the more technical issues. One is falling conductor protection. That is, for the first time, having the ability to have power shut off before it hits the ground, right? thus reducing the chances that that might cause an ignition. We are also installing things like covered conductors such that you don't have to worry about a tree getting into a line that may cause an ignition that those are things that you know the utility may not normally control, a tree, a mylar balloon, a bird, a squirrel, some of these things, well, the teams now are coming up with solutions to even prevent that type of a risk and an outage. Another great thing when I think about the perfection that this team pursues is to be even that much more strategic about undergrounding. You have the ability to put undergrounding in certain places that assures that if the worst thing does happen, we have some ability to keep smaller sections of the grid still energized simply because a very small piece of it was undergrounded. In its simplest terms, I help understand fire weather conditions, and I try to help understand when those really bad fire days are going to come. And I do that by integrating science into how we run the electric system. This year, we're crossing over 200 weather stations, and if all of this weather data continues to show us that there's a small pocket of very strong winds on the edge of one of our communities, we start working with the engineers here at SDG&E to isolate and sectionalize the electric grid so that we can only impact those windiest areas. And that's a lot of how this weather information is being used. One of the most technologically driven enhancements that we have this year is the integration of artificial intelligence. So what sdg &E did is they went back and took years of data, uh, hot days, temperatures, humidity, the wind speeds. That gave them an algorithm, if you will, that we can apply to the future. They take all of that science and then they'll tell us what the threat is. We're able to do this because we've been collecting 10-minute observations from these weather stations now for 10 years. So we have almost a billion observations, and that data is being used to train artificial intelligence. And this helps us be more precise with public safety power shutoffs. The Weather Service and, and the Meteorology Department here, even at SDG&E, has gotten so good, we're starting to get hints of it seven to 10 days out. 
no longer is it a hunch or is it just experience, but there's actually an instrument that'll tell us what we can expect, and it's been very reliable. It's been an exciting venture as we've gotten away from, you know, fire folks to meteorologists and scientists saying, hey, this is what, this is what the evidence is showing about, you know, doing your job. While most utilities would have a program generically for vegetation management, this team knows every tree, knows how fast it grows, knows its species, and targets and manages it to make sure that tree presents the least amount of risk to ever touching a power line, which may cause an outage or worse, cause an ignition. One of the biggest risks to start fires is trees. So we closely focus and study every tree that we have within the vicinity of power lines here in San Diego, uh, all in an effort to just ensure that we don't have any wildfire ignitions during extreme Santa Ana winds. It's amazing where data has taken that team and where they're gonna continue to go. Some of the new technologies are drones. We're using drones to look at our system to help keep everyone safe. Uh, along with the drones, we use the infrared camera, and that allows us to see things that are, we can't see with our naked eye. Uh, that could be a loose connection. It could be a bird contact. It could be a lightning strike. Um, it could be a fault. Over 30,000 poles across our backcountry uh, have been inspected uh, by drones, and this is really helping us see things that we could never fully see from inspecting things from the ground, and it's also providing a real opportunity to integrate artificial intelligence into how we analyze all of these images. Ultimately, we want to prevent any ignition. The men and women at this company have nothing that drives them more than protecting its customers from the impacts of wildfires or outages. In 2020, we have made some really great enhancements to the generator programs and generator offerings. We know there's moments to where not having power impacts them in ways that we can't appreciate. We've made these generators available to every medical baseline customer who experienced a public safety power shutoff in 2019. So that's over 1,200 of our customers uh, in the highest risk areas are being offered a generator to help them get through uh, any potential public safety power shutoff. One of the things that SDG&E really stands out is in, with communications to the residents of San Diego County. And they've expressed that and done that with 211 San Diego. So 211 is a simple three digit dialing code, 24 7, 365, the public can call. Typically, we take over 5,000 calls a day, up to 200 different languages to support a community in need. This new program is just an extension of serving the public in cooperation with SDG&E through informing them about what to do in the event of a public safety power shutoff. We can support their needs if they need resources, whether it's food, essential items, batteries, flashlights, where they need to know where a community resource center is, and we're here to help you. Public safety power shutoff app. Customers are gonna love it. It's all the information that was available on the website, which is some of the best in the business, now in the palm of your hands in your smartphone. You can find out by just putting in your address if your power is potentially going to be shut off and if it's going to be shut off, for how long it may be shutting down. That has all the content that you need to have, but now it's at your fingertips. You don't have to worry about getting on a website. And I think customers are going to be excited this year to have that power in their hand and on their phones. I want you to know that SDG&E and the people who work there want to keep you safe because they too live in our communities and they have family here as well. They're not only supplying you with the energy that you need, but also the safety that's required to deliver that energy so that we all can remain safe and have happy lives in San Diego County. There's no greater honor than serving customers, right? And by serving customers, making sure that they're always safe. And that mission is held by everybody at SDG&E, that there's not a day goes by that we wanna see one of our colleagues or anybody in the public ever hurt and we're going to do whatever it takes always to make sure that we can keep our employees and our public safe. I'm committed and I'm invested 24-7, 365. I live here, I play here, we raised our children here, 
and we're here to keep you safe.